Hey, what's up everyone? Corny Phil back again in Unturned, and today is going to be the third part of our mini-series where we're discussing all the little basics of playing this game. And as promised, this is going to be about crafting chests. Now, as you can see, these are six-slot things that contain all so that can store all your stuff. Uh, it, I made the mistake of putting a bunch of stuff on the ground as just a quick means of storage until, you know, until I could get back to it, then I forgot. And I logged off, logged back on, and I lost a bunch of stuff. So, having storage is crucial. So, we have a bit of a shopping list. I've already got it all, but I can tell you what it is, and I'll also have it in the description. Uh, first, we're going to focus on making a crate. A crate is a four slot, not as useful as a chest, which is six, but, you know gotta start somewhere so let's go we need to make a single crate we need eight boards so we will need all six of these boards and 12 sticks okay and a log will convert to four boards so there we go so we have a couple left over now let's begin so crafting first of all we need four wooden plates because those four wooden plates will con convert into two wooden frames, which we have two of. Perfect. Then with sticks, we need to go uh, sticks in here to make wooden crosses. We need a total of six, or wooden supports. We need a total of six because that will make three wooden crosses. Uh, three crosses and two wooden frames makes a crate. Awesome. So now we can equip it and we can put it down and there you have it, storage. And like, you know, they end up looking like this. You can put stuff in them. It's nice. You know, what else is there? But let's make a chest because chests are the same size, you know, floor plan wise, but hold two more items. And that's a pretty big deal. And they're not that hard to make. So to make a chest, we will need an additional 12 sticks. There we go. Because to make a, to make a chest requires the... Three more wooden crosses, which we've already detailed how to make. And then a crate. So basically you put a crate, put three more crosses on it, and there you go. You have a chest. This is actually convenient because I've been needing another chest. So where should we put it? Um, it's getting kind of full over here and I don't want to stack them up. So we'll put him right there, I guess. Or over here? No. We'll put him right here. This will be another chest for some gear of some kind or other. But as you can see, now we have six slots empty and lots of room. Now, there are a ton of other things to craft in this game. There's all sorts of foundations, um, building materials. You can build your own castle and fort. And uh, if you go on some of the forums, like the subreddit for Unturned and other places, you can find all sorts of really cool structures. But... For now, I've focused primarily on survival and just, you know, setting up a base camp like this and just having fun. So, I probably should show real quick while we're here uh, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, where I am. So, I'm out there uh, where the Red X is. This is the SS Haven, I believe, which is just, it's just a nice, safe place. There's a lot of zombies in the area, but there's also a lot of resources, so it's a good place. But more importantly, I need to show you uh, how to convert boards. So... Sometimes you'll, as you can see, I'm actually kind of low on sticks. So what I can do is I can take boards, put them here, put a handsaw into the tool slot, and bada bing, bada boom, sticks. So now that's that's a way to convert. Because um, I think, I found that you'll always have more boards than you will sticks because logs are pretty easy to get and they convert wholesale. So we'll just put this stuff back. So there you have it. That's how to make chests which are just absolutely a necessity if you want to be playing for a long period of time and you don't want to just have to restart basically every time you get on or try to carry all your stuff and also just the basics of how to start crafting um, i highly recommend checking out the tidy crafting guide and others there are a ton of people out there who have done a lot of the work for telling you how to build anything so there you have it um Thank you all for watching. Like it if you like it. Subscribe if you want to keep seeing more. Uh, until next time, I'm Corny Phil. See ya.